Hello, good morning law aspirants and next video series of vocabulary. Yes, ample responses from yours make us boost up and this vocabulary booster is really going to enhance your vocabulary. Yes, it is a key to the world of words, words which would enhance your vocabulary, words which would add to your comprehension, words which will make the passage interesting and easy. You know, Anything as we say Rome was not built in a day. So, that is why this gradual slow process of learning the word slowly gradually with the roots is really going to help you. Just 10, 15 minutes a day not much time we are taking and you remember one or two roots just two roots maximum three roots we do in a day and you learn ample words. Your responses are our enhancements. So, keep writing to us, telling us our merits, demerits, so that we are always there with you to enhance your vocabulary. Let us begin today's session. Yes. So, to begin with, as usual, giving up the dose to you. Every day's practice makes a man perfect. Do a lot of reading. Yes, I will skim through it very quickly because I had given you a long list of short stories, essays, and novels. Keep reading, read at least 5 pages a day do not do any cramming or rote learning. Yes, it will be slowly gradually things would happen, but change is visible. You yourself will feel the change. See if I say that you have learned new words, you have learned new words, my saying is not important. You yourself have to say clat aspirants. Yes, I have learned new words. I can remember them. The best part of this method, the root method is that you may forget your name, but not the words. See, even in your dreams, in your um, you know nightmares, even whatever may be, but this kind of a relaxation, a sigh of relief is there. Yes, I do remember kata means town, ab means move away, ac means sharp. So, this is what is going to help you out dearies and do not worry, things will truly feel a change within a month, you know, any fairness cream also you apply to have to wait for the results on so, this vocabulary fairness, this vocabulary enhancement, this booster, you will feel the change surely, yes, surely. No mugging or cramming, slowly but consistently you would win the game. Read fiction, read newspaper, read a roll section. I hope you are going through your Hindu every day and you are noting down, jotting down the words every day. I ask you to do 5 to 10 words a day and with that we also give you the roots. I had done in the last class the root that was vocabulary, importance of vocabulary as usual we are talking of, they are the building blocks because without it your hands tied, you are stuck, you cannot do anything. So, it is very, very important that you pay attention on the words, yes, they are the key factors to improve your English. <coughs> For a robust vocabulary, listening, reading, writing, speaking, yes, the four wheels of English and you have to all insist on it because without vocabulary you stand nowhere. I did the kata root in the last class and I am moving on to the next root after that. Uh, if you do remember, we did some 17, 18 uh, words for kata that means down right and the most important word catalyst, I am going to act as your catalyst, law prep family is going to act as your catalyst to enhance and improve your vocabulary. Turning to the second root for today that is cog, kata you would keep at the back of your mind every time. Kata means down right. Okay, now turning to next root cog, cog or con that would mean to learn to mind, very important, the most important lawyers are very cogent, they are as I told you linked with the word brain, you know the most important part of our brain is cerebral, from that word lawyers are very brainy, they are intelligent. The witty scholars and to add on they are erudite, learned. See the list of the words that come up with it, they are very knowledgeable and many more could be added. This is the long list which comes up and the root of course C, S, C, I, so the word scintillating. 
Right. So, you come to know the word cog that means full of mind and knowledge. Recognize, very common word, you recognize the person, you learn him, you identify him, who is this person, this is recognize. Reco Precognition, <coughs> something you learn before. Now, what you are doing at this time, what you are doing? You are doing precognition. You are preparing for CLAD, you are recognizing what problems you may, uh, that may occur in the examination and you are trying to solve all those problems. That is precognition with the root pre that means before pre and post very common roots. Cognizant is a sharp minded person synonym to the word uh, cogent, a very learned person, sharp minded, cerebral you can see the part of the brain I told you earlier also the three parts of the brain cerebrum, cerebellum and medulla oblongata for this cerebral is the most important part. Now, the word cognizanti is a person who is well informed, having knowledge of everything. So, he is a well informed person. So, he is you know abreast of the idiom that we use for this that is abreast of. You should be well informed what is happening all around you, you should be abreast of the you know the current affairs and things, vocabulary. Yes, so that is going to be a feather in your cap. Right. So, the gist of the matter, the crux, the key note is cog means that is mind or knowledge. Please jot down the long list of the synonyms that we have learned because this applies to you, your ardent, scintillating, cogent, erudite, learned scholars and for this you have to remember these roots. Right. I hope I am moving at a pace you are able to write. Okay. Turning to next root or next word with the root cog and con, reconnoiter. Reconnoiter is learned beforehand just like precognition, it is synonym to the word precognition. It is almost similar, they are synonyms, right? Incognito. Now, what is this root? See how easily I make a sentence to explain you. Cog. Now, incognito. If I make a sentence, this was Nalsa's question. The princess was kept incognito. The princess was kept in. So, in means not. This means mind or knowledge. Right. So, how you will remember the meaning of a sentence? The princess was kept incognito means not in knowledge of someone. In simple words, it was secret, latent, hidden, concealed, right, cloaked, covered, shrouded. Unknown, unrevealed. You can see the list that comes up so quickly in my mind. You also have to become the same dictionary in thesaurus. Yes, so this is the synonym of the word covered, secret, shrouded, latent, hidden, unknown, concealed, unrevealed, and cloaked. You know, when the words over from your mind, you forget and you have to create a space. This is what your mind is right now. This is a picture of your mind crowded with various words, a lot many words. So, <coughs> see this word camouflage, another word you could add up which you could add here something not known. You seen the BSF people dress? Yes, their dress is neither green nor khaki color, the brownish color. It is a combination of both of them. Why? So that when they stand among the trees, they are not able to be recognized from far away by the enemy. This is what is called camouflage, you know, covering your appearance. Nobody comes to know about it, something hidden. Cognitive, we all have cognitive powers, our powers of the mind. So, we all are provided by God with cognitive powers pertaining to learning. You are learning right now, cognition he used kar rahe ho aap apna. This is what is making these words known to your mind. Pre Cognizance, like sounding like resin, uh, renaissance. It is a learning about before, what is a thing which is going to happen before, something a revived learning, something a learning which would add up before to it. So, that is the word reconnaissance. 
not do not worry about it the spelling and the word being a lengthy word. You can break it into syllables and you can remember it and the most important thing is just the word con and cog that means mind and knowledge. Anything can disappear or eclipse, but not con and cog that is mind and knowledge. Turning up to the second route, I hope everything is clear related to con and cog. Any doubts, any comments are most welcome. See, because we are going to, you know, make things very easy for you, okay. Turning to next route, that is the root uh, sen. Sen is a simple root. Everybody knows it, sen or cent is 100 or main. Everybody knows not much to explain in this. Percent is per 100 by 100, that is percent. Percentile, you will get your percentile, your rank on this basis, you will be allotted the college. That is a ranking which is based on 100 people, that is called the percentile, right. Simple words. Centenarian is a person who is 100 years old, very few people are centenarians. Super centenarian, a person who is 110 years old, Matlab 110 years old, that would become as 110 years old, right. So, that would be, this is the response and this is the response for this, right, simple words. And the word, you've heard Dhoni hit a century, right, we all know that. Centennial is of a period of 100 years, simple root, this will last for 100 years, nothing much to be done, a C E N T at the back of your mind, 100. Now, when I say, now I frame a word which you may not read and I have not included it maybe in this, the word centipede. Now, look up at this. What is the most important thing is not cent. Ma'am, what are you doing? Cent, we all know. I know, dear, you know. Cent is 100 and what is speed? Is feet. So, 100 feet animal is a centipede. Simple, easy to remember, very good. And the last in this, <coughs> please note it down, yes, okay, tricentennial of a 300 years old something which exists for 300 years. So, you have a root that is tri, as we have a tricolor that is 3, cent that is 100, so that makes it 300 years old, right. Centigram from the root gram, that is right, 100 of a gram. Centimeter, 100 of a meter, that is 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter. That is a simple definition for this. And the word centilier, 100th of a liter. There was not much to be done in cent. So, we had taken the roots that we have grabbed. Today's work, cog mind, right, try is 3. Cent is 100. The root we did earlier, kata is down. And gen is class or race. Right? That's what we have to keep at the back of your mind and I'm sure you would do this. See, if you have not started feeling the change, there must be something wrong. All our five sense organs respond to it. This is something which is sensuous and affects it. And if it isn't, we'll surely make you feel this confident that any word, any passage will be child's play for you. Yes, child's play. Thank you, students.